but if you want to put like tape on the back of these or something and stick them on your backdrop or stick them on you or whatever i think it would look really cool so that's something that is also available and the last thing that did work really well but was kind of a pain were these guys now this was really honestly guys the only paint like body paint body safe paint that i could find that was relatively cheap so i actually bought these at spencer's as well as the black light and they're called glow in the dark fantasy body finger paint and they just come in little pots like this it just came in like a stack like this um i'm not sure what company it's by or anything but i'm sure you can google these if you want them uh they also had edible body paint um and i have to say the packaging was a little risque let's just put it that way um i'm sure you guys can imagine what i'm talking about but now that i'm thinking about it probably would have been a better idea to get those because we actually ended up putting it on our lips because we were originally going to put this on our lips um which i don't even know if this is non-toxic but i figured it's safe for your eyes so why not but this is safe for your skin but we put it on our lips um i'm sure we ingested a bit of it neither one of us got sick but i wouldn't recommend it definitely obviously use at your own risk i don't want to say like oh it's totally safe and have someone like eat this stuff <laughs> and get sick from it and have it be my fault um so just use at your own risk if you're planning on using it around your mouth or anything like that i would recommend getting stuff that is ingestible like the edible stuff but it was like double the price and i was feeling kind of cheap especially after having to spend another 13 dollars on a stupid light um i just got these i'm just looking at my list on my ipod here what else do i want to talk to you guys about oh um an editing tip don't especially when you're filming don't just immediately delete footage that you think isn't good or that you think it won't use, especially if it's like bloopers or something like that, because worst case scenario, you end up deleting it, it's gone forever, whatever. Um, that or you come out with a really funny bloopers video, bloopers reel at the end of your video or a separate video, or um, you can do what I ended up doing and actually end up taking parts and bits and pieces from those um, mess ups or silly moments or whatever and actually end up incorporating it into your video so that is something to think about especially if you're on site don't just go through your camera your memory card and just start mindlessly deleting things that aren't exactly what you wanted because you may end up using it um lastly just really don't get discouraged i ran into um a few big problems with mine especially with the with finding a light that was actually going to work and stuff like that and i'm sure a lot of people run into stuff like that you may run into the same problems i i did or you may run into ones that are a little bit worse or easier to fix or anything like that but just seriously don't get discouraged especially if it's a video you really want to make i was really excited and motivated to make this video i don't think i've ever been excited to make a video like this ever on youtube um so it was a really interesting experience now i went to the dollar store to get all of my props so you don't have to worry about having like a huge budget to make something like this to make it look really really cool also always have a plan b c d e f whole bunch of different backup plans and have an open mind because yes you are going to run into some problems no matter how professional um and legit the shoot is even if it's like on a hit tv or movie set you know with like actors like brad pitt and nicole kidman or whatever everyone's gonna have those days where they run into some problems whether it be big problems or small problems that can easily be fixed you're gonna have to compromise things uh, move things around have a backup plan all that sort of stuff so overall, I think it was a really good experience and I would definitely recommend someone to try this out if they're interested in making music videos and stuff or just short films or just experimenting things or whatever. So again, my video that I made for uh, Starry Eyed by Ellie Golding is linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, so thank you again so much for watching. I really hope I helped someone out there, whether it be that you were just interested in how I made my video or if you're making something that's similar to this, whether it be for a school project or just for fun. Um, so yeah, I really hope I helped you guys out in some way or another. Maybe gave you some inspiration to uh, make your own music video someday. Uh, so again, let me know what you think down below and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This is Maddie signing off. Bye guys.